Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the latest report, on 10th April, two LH Dhruv MK3 were inducted into ICG Air Enclave Bhuvaneshwar. Now, if you have been following our updates, every month either two or three or four LH Dhruv MK3 is being delivered to Navy and ICG. We have been always complaining about the rate of production of aircraft by HL. So it's also worth looking just at this year number of ALH Dhruv and how HL has been consistently delivering the rotor craft to Navy and the Coast Guard. On 20th January, two ALH Dhruv MK3 were inducted into the fleet of Andaman Nicobar Command in Port Blair at Inus Utkrosh. On 2nd February, Two LH Dhruv MK3 were inducted into Indian Coast Guard. The choppers were stationed at the Coast Guard Aviation Squadron in Kochi. On 23rd March, two LH Dhruv MK3 were inducted by Indian Navy and integrated into INS Parundu in Ramanath Puram district. On 31st March, two more LH Dhruv MK3 were inducted into Indian Coast Guard Air Enclave, Kochi. On 10th April, Two LS Dhruv MK3 were inducted into the Coast Guard Air Enclave Bhuvneshwar. So, in this year, in less than four months, HAL has delivered 10 LS Dhruv MK3 to Navy and ICG. Till date, ICG and Navy each have received 12 out of 16 LS Dhruv MK3 in a phased manner. The whole process of induction of LS MK3 started from March 2017 when HL had received an order of 32 LH MK3 from Navy and Coast Guard to replace their aging fleet of helicopters with new improved version of LH Dhruv MK3. The HL is in the process of producing and delivering helicopters to Coast Guard for four bases at Porbandar, Bhuvaneshwar, Kochi and Chennai. The contract involves integration of 19 major systems with the existing LH MK3 that includes powerful Shakti engines, full glass cockpit, new electronic warfare suite and warning system, automatic chaff and flare dispensers, improved vibration control system IFF and ATC XPDR with ADS-B out, VHF and UHF communication system, traffic alert and collision avoidance system. SAR Homer system, automatic deployable emergency located transmitter, loud hailer, radio altimeter, rescue basket, medical intensive care unit, IADS system, AFCS digital video recording system, automatic identification system, high intensity search light, pressure refueling system, control grip, EO pod, surveillance radar system and 12.7 mm gun system. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.